Simulation training here at the Northern Foundation Trust reproduces real life clinical situations in real time. The aim of this simulation scenario is to explore such skills as technical skills, non technical skills, task management, team leadership, and communication. We want the candidates to assess and treat the mannequin patient as they would in the real clinical situation. And each scenario is followed by an informal debrief that is take, takes place so that they can reflect on their own and the team's individual performance. Let's go and meet the candidates. Welcome to your A&E simulation session. My name's Jenny and I'm the simulation lead here at Rotherham Hospital. And I'm Karen Shaw and I'm clinical skills facilitator. Good morning. The plan for today's session is that we'll introduce you to the mannequin. We'll then brief you on the scenario and we want you to behave in the same way as you would in your, no, in your clinical area. And then there will be an opportunity for debrief. The aim of today's session is you'll recognise an emergency and treat appropriately and you'll recognise the human factors of situation awareness, leadership, teamwork, task management and communication. Let's get started then. Yeah, wonderful. In order to monitor the candidate's progress throughout the simulation, we have faculty team members situated behind a one-way mirror. Hi guys, this Hi is today's Amy. faculty team. And today's part of uh, the faculty at the other hospital, I'll be actually the mannequin's voice today. There you go. Thank you, Lee. Today's session is an A&E scenario. We've got an experienced F2 and two senior staff nurses with us. The patient is Richard Stevens, 56, he's going to have pulsed VT okay. with the adverse features of syncope and shock. We want the candidates to recognise this and the need for electrical cardioversion followed by amiodarone. We want them to call the anaesthetic team and that's when Olivia and I will go into the scenario. Okay. I've already briefed the candidates so they're ready to start once we're prepared. So let's see, so the doctor's in there and the nurse, if we start with VT Lee. Right, if you want to gather round, we're now going to introduce you to our medium fidelity mannequin. And if we start at the head and the airway, you can see that his eyes are blinking and they will close. His pupils will react to light, become pinpoint or fixed and dilated. So if you auscultate his chest, you may hear a wheeze, absent. We've got a drug cupboard that's got a good supply of drugs to be requiring throughout this scenario. Okay, right, well, just in. I'm Karen. We're just going to do your blood pressure. All right. Okay. Right, he's in uh, VT. I yeah, think we ought to get to uh, doctor. On my way. Guys, have you got the F2 handy, please? Hiya, Karen. What's going on? Uh, this is Justin Stevens. He's a 56 year old. Gentleman. Hello, Justin. Uh, he's, he's in uh, VT, as you can see. His yeah. systolic's 80. Uh, he's collapsed this morning and he's been brought in by ambulance. He's been having a couple of days where I felt palpitations and feeling unwell, generally unwell. Okay. Okay, okay Mr. Stevens, I'm Mark. I'm one of the doctors that's going to be looking after you today. Can you tell me what's been going on? I felt a little bit faint this morning and then I just collapsed. Okay, Mr. Stevens, let me just explain to you. Your heart's going very fast and very irregular and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to pass an electric current through your chest to stop, to stop this heart irregularity, hopefully. Okay. okay, and I've got these two experts that have come to help me do that, so just give me a second. So I'm going to give, I'll start with 150 minutes. Okay, Mr. Stevens, you're going to be okay. going very sleepy very shortly. Okay, I've been doing the grounds of the pump Once the pump falls in, if you want to maintain the airway, make sure we've got the oxygen at 15 sure. litres. Okay. Okay, Mr. Stevens, I'm going to give you the medication now. This will send you off to sleep. Okay, if you want to charge to one, uh, put it to 120, get it into sink. 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 Okay, and over to you, Karen. Into sink. Everybody stand clear, oxygen away. Everybody clear, charging. Everybody stand clear, shop, discharging. Okay, back and on. Right, that just, looks like a, still got a carotid, pulse. carotid pulse and a change in rhythm. rhythm. Okay, can we keep a close eye on that? Okay, so he's right about if you could get an ECG. ECG, I think we're going to talk about What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to talk to coronary care. I'm going to need you over to down here just to keep yeah. control of the airway until Mr. Stevens is feeling a bit better. And, okay. okay, so I'm going to just clear for a second to make a phone call. Emma does allow simulation of a normal vaginal birth. She has an abdomen which you can detach and within there 
there is a normal jointed baby that we can push through the birth canal and simulate a normal vaginal delivery. She allows recreation of obstetric emergencies, including eclampsia, postpartum hemorrhage, and maternal collapse. Oh, keep pushing. Oh, do you keep want me to push? Pushing. She's really really well pushing. Well done. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. there. Well done. Keep, keep pushing. Going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Well done. Fantastic. Keep going. Well Can you see it, Jeff? Right. Is it coming? Keep going. 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 Okay, all right, we've got baby's here. hand out, Emma. No, that's it. Oh, right, Emma, let me just sit right. That's it, that's it, Emma. It's coming, it's coming. No, no, no. No, 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 Emma, you're right. Just breathe it away. Breathe it away. You're all right, Emma. Okay. All right, Emma. Okay, we're just going to put this on the cord and get baby straight to baby doctors. All right. Well, now you've had a valuable insight into the world of simulation here at the Northern Foundation Trust. Let's go to the final session of the day, which is the debrief. We're now going to reflect on the scenario. How do you think that went? Um, I suppose there's a couple of things I could have done differently um, that I would do next time, I think, or maybe, you know. What kind of things do you mean by that? Uh, right at the end, I thought maybe I should have said get a bit more access and get some amiodarone rod and infusion going, which we would do before we transferred something got a bit more stable. But... Yeah, well, taking Mark's point as a, a starting area, there is an element of unreality to any kind of simulation, but once you work through that, I think it's very valuable. And again, Mark's point, when you have chance at the end of the day to sit and talk over things, yeah, you could have done differently. And it's not just a case of thinking, yes, I could have done differently, full stop. You can then take that point and feed it back into your clinical practice. That's the end of today's session. Thanks for coming and we'd like to see you again soon. Yeah. And we're always looking for faculty members if anybody's interested mm -hmm. in an educational role. You'd be very welcome to join us. All right, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.